Okay, so I'm just going to straighten these out. With the spacing that close together, I don't have to pull very much on the fletching to get it straight and flat. The, uh, the wrapping itself has flattened out the, the vein pretty good at the bottom. Now, forgive me if I don't know the right terms for all this. I think these are called the veins here, these uh, upright par portions. So I'm going to call these the veins, the uh, membrane at the bottom, and the thing, the uh, feather as a whole, I should be calling a fletch. So right now I'm adjusting the fletches to be equally spaced and straight. Now this system takes some time, it takes more time than using a jig or a, uh, a clamp system to attach these fletches, but this system works pretty good with uh, irregular surfaces, because a, like there's a node here, but with the wrapping it adjusts to the contour. So it can be very irregular, but still get a good contact with the, uh, or between the uh, fletch and the arrow shaft. And you're still able to make adjustments and make these fletchings very straight or spiral or whatever you want. And adjusting these is nice because you can, you know, try to compensate for that irregular surface by pushing and adjusting the bottom. And it, it, it may not look straight, but at least the fletching will stand straight. That's what you want. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now there's one back end here that's too uh, that's too far over so I can I can trim that now or trim it later I guess I'll just trim it later okay so what I'm gonna do is just uh, put some glue on here now I get my paintbrush I'll just run a bead down and then spread it out with a paintbrush. I'm laying it on pretty thick. It shrinks quite a bit as it dries. I'm getting a little bit on the quill here. It's not it doesn't matter too much down here. It just, it just got to make sure I don't get any glue up on these parts up here. And I got to work kind of fast because the glue dries. 
it becomes tacky really quick. Well, the moisture from the glue will cause the fletch to expand, so I just pull a little bit to get that try to get that fletch back down tight. wipe the brush. The glue is getting a little tacky on the brush. Spacing is a little bit off. But uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'll push it a little bit. Okay. Again, I got to work fast before that glue dries up or it becomes tacky. Once it becomes tacky, it's hard to brush. Okay, and while the glue is still tacky, I can pull on these to uh, make sure the fletching is tight down to the shaft. Because, like I said, the moisture from the glue will cause it to expand a little bit. So I'm just pulling this to stretch it out, make sure it's flat against the shaft. Okay, so what, I, what I'll do now is uh, wait for that to dry. While this is drying, I'll fletch the other ones, and then uh, I'll come back and show you how I finish up the fletching. <laughs> 